Hello everyone, welcome back to Rog Grotech. Uh, I have another light unboxing review and part test today of the Medic Grow EZ8. Uh, this is a 1000 watt LED, it's for a 5x5 or like an open space. Uh, you could put it in a 4x4 and dim it down. Uh, in today's case, I am going to test this in a 4x4 because it's all that I have set up for now. But uh, let's get started. Let's open this up and uh, we'll see what we have inside. All right, so right off the bat here, we see that uh, we got some, de some decent packaging. It's looking uh, pretty, pretty good so far. These appear to be the light bars. But uh, let's get started with what else is in here first. First we got, uh, looks like we got a daisy chain cable, not a power daisy chain. This is just like your uh, dimmer daisy chain. And then we have a power cable and uh, we have a different plug. Another plug, I'm not quite sure what that is for. Uh, we will find out when the time comes. And then you got uh, some hanging uh, hanging wires. So uh, it does not come with rope ratchets. I do not see rope ratchets. It's a good thing that I have a bunch of them. Um, you're watching this medic grow, you should add in some rope ratchets, even if they're the cheaper plastic kind. Uh, those plastic ones still work. I haven't had any of them break on me yet. So uh, just a suggestion, maybe add in some rope ratchets. So we'll move that out of the way. Again, we got some more really good packing. We will start with this. All right, so this is it. We got the driver inside here. And they call it the Easy 8 because all you do is you plug you plug these directly into there. They're color coded, so they show you what uh, plugs into what. So um, we're gonna get started here. I'm gonna plug all of these in, and then I will uh, I'll show you. So I'm just gonna show you the design here that they go with. Uh, it looks like they have one shade of diodes. They do look like Samsung diodes, but I cannot confirm that. But I have seen enough of these to know that I'm pretty sure they are. But I, I honestly could be wrong. Uh, these are 660 reds, and uh, you're not supposed to touch those, but these ones are by Osram. I know those are Osram. And uh, looks to be a lot of diodes in here. Looks well built. And we got these connections. So I'm excited to see how easily this is gonna put together. So let's get to that point. Okay, so they say to hang the light first and then uh, plug it in. So I just did a couple of these just so I could show you an example of how to do it. So you just bring it over, it lines up and they click in. It's really that easy. It doesn't take very long. So that's it. Uh, I'm just gonna finish doing the other uh, three of them and then we will get on with uh, the fire test. So now I know why that there is a different plug uh, because this is a European plug or something. I didn't notice that the first time. So what you do is you just take this and you plug this one here into this and then you plug it into your outlet and then it's just one extension after you do that. So I could already tell you, this is an extremely bright light. It's pretty crazy. Uh, it's got a lot of blue and green in it. I could see that already because it's a really, uh, it's like a, a really bright light. So it might be better for veg, but we'll find that out when we do the spectrum test. I know uh, the CRI is probably gonna be pretty high because this is uh, the true color. So, but it's a nice light. I had to hang it fairly high. Uh, where's my measuring tape? Let me just go find that. 
So I hung it at 32 and a half inches because this light is for a five by five and uh, it is extremely bright. So uh, I hung it at this because we got about a thousand off to the corners and then uh, 1250 in the center. But anyways, let's do the real test here with uh, my Apogee MQ610 extended range power meter. Uh, that quantum sensor on the end is one of the newest sensors Apogee makes and it reads your uh, UVs and your far reds. So uh, let me get this set up on a tripod and we'll get started. Okay, so first off I wanted to show you this is pulling a thousand and sixteen watts from the wall. I'm not sure if you can see that upside down. But that's what it's showing. And then uh, we will come in here and I forgot to show you guys the measurements. Oh no, I did show you. Anyway, so yeah, at uh, 32 and a half inches, we're reading 1150 in the center, 11, uh, 1100, and then off to the far edge is 964. We're gonna go over to the left corner. Left corner is 915. We'll go all the way over to the right corner. 930. We're gonna come down to the side over here. 910. And this corner, I have one of my vents in the way, so I have to move it out a bit. And we're at 905. And back to this corner here, where a vent is also in the way. And we're at 950. So um, it's got a pretty even spread everywhere, all over the tent. There's not really too many hot spots if you leave it raised up this high. That's why I also prefer to hang my lights higher to get rid of the hot spots. So uh, this would be great for a five by five and a four by four, it's a little bit overkill, but uh, you can get it done. You could use the dimmer. If I go down to 80% and we're like in the perfect range here now at 80% for auto flowers anyway. And uh, you could get definitely get away with that with photo periods as well, but I like to crank my lights up a little bit more than that. But uh, anyway, let's get on with the spectrum test now. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a spectrum test. We're gonna check out uh, the correlated color temperature of this light. And, uh, but anyway, this is a upper tech PAR 200 unit. Uh, it's a very nice unit. You turn it on, it does its, uh, dark calibration right away and then uh, what you do is uh, you want to just place it in the center after it's done its calibration it only takes like uh, 10 seconds not even so we'll just place that in the tent then we come up here and we've got an app and you can see it connected to Bluetooth we say okay and then so we'll go to basic and uh, there's a little button here. I'll push this button. It will take the measurement and it says a success. So I know it might not be that easy for you guys to see here, but uh, it's showing us a uh, PPFD of 1100, 1132 PFD. Uh, it's showing us 1.3 for our UV. We don't have any uh, UV in this light, so that's why it's so low. Uh, the blue is about 200, the green is 500. Uh, our overall color correlated temperature is 4278. So that is uh, very, uh, more on the veg side of a light. Uh, it's 455 for red and far red has 27. So uh, 4200, 4300K, I would use this for veg. I don't think I would honestly flower with this. I don't mean to be rude about this light. You could flower with it. It would do a good job. I just prefer a warmer uh, temperature. So our spectrum, you can see how high it is in the blues there. Uh, it does have a nice overall spectrum. 
Uh, what about our PPFD spectrum? And we'll go back and then we'll check out the correlated color temperature. It's almost 4300K. And then our color rendering index is gonna be nice and high, 88.77. So uh, what that is, it's, it's how our naked eye sees light, like how it makes things the perfect color. Like the sun, for example, is 100. Uh, eight HPS, like a high pressure sodium, uh, is around 30, I believe. That's why you can't see very well. But uh, yeah, for true daylight, this is uh, 88.7. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, there will be more to come on this channel. We will have more giveaways as well. Anyway, remember, share this wherever you want. Like this video. Subscribe. Tell your friends about it. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.